Hello? It's me! Today we'll look a bit into the matter of theme switching design and most specifically we'll get bothered with the default GNOME terminal approach! Are you ready? Let's do this already! First off, since GNOME 42 we have finally the option to change the global theme! We only have two choices though! We have dark I'm currently using! And default that is basically the light! The reason it is called default instead of light, is because for some applications the dark theme is actually their default! Which is a leftover from previous GNOME design, but it now is a broken concept because a user expects all apps to be either light or dark! What if we select the dark theme, but some apps default is light? Definitely this is a non-working design! For the default option to make an actual sense, we should add three switches instead, a default a light and a dark, but that would be an overkill! And yet pointless too, because it wouldn't still play good with third-party apps like YouTube! For example on appearance we have light, dark, and device default! So personally I would go with light here, and require from the GNOME apps to respect this preference! Most do already anyway! Speaking of already! In GNOME 43 we can also switch the global theme from quick toggles! But did you notice how settings calls it styles? When shell calls it mode? The same thing with a different name! But it's way more than a naming inconsistency! It is actually a huge semantically difference, because on settings it acts like a switch between dark and light, but on shell it acts like we enable something on the top of something else we have already! So perhaps on shell that needs to also turn to a light dark switch! because that is what it actually is! Design needs coherence to be easily to understood, and here we have a situation that looks more or less random! But to better realize the problem and the reason why all these wrongs are happening, think of the actual difference between engineering design and software design! On engineering everything you do will be 100% coherent, because all of those constraints, namely the laws of physics! And the human brain loves physics, and interacts with physics the best, but with software is not that easy to simulate real world complexity where everything is consistent and logical! Anyway, back in track? So, after the global theme we also have the theme per app! On this case we'll look into terminal that closely follows GNOME design! Here we have three theme switches! We have dark! We have the light! And we have the follow global theme switch! That reminds us again why the default option on settings is broken! But that aside, next is the visuals that aren't that great! So here we have three huge cycles, to display what? A black, a white, and a black-white solid? They could be much more smaller and elegant, like the controls right below them perhaps? Because right now looks like a prototype that developers are so excited about, so they want to show off the new feature! But a few weeks later they discover that this design is actually not cool but boring! But unfortunately this design is here for a long time, and we even see it in applications like Builder! And those three cycles not only look ridiculous on this menu, but I believe they are pretty useless too! First because I consider highly unlikely to change the editor color that often, and second because Builder theming options are more than dark or light! Can't possibly know if people are happy with that! and we don't have metrics either! But black box missing the three cycles from this menu, doesn't really feel like a miss to me! In black box we can set the theme main strategy from this menu, where the rest theme options are elsewhere! To be honest that is a bit over complicated design, but as long as you only use dark themes works fine! So you may not know this, but all this three theme cycles Trent started from elementary OS! and as many more things that was introduced later to GNOME! But most usually the original designer does it better, in this case elementary! Let me show you! So this is version 602 of elementary terminal! Basically the next to last release, but things aren't much different from the original implementation around 3 years back! So if we open the menu here, we again get the theme circles, but on a much smaller edition that doesn't look out of place! Plus back then elementary hat in a global system theme, so that's something missing! So next I'm going to check out on 610! That is the latest release came 3 days ago! In the meantime, with so few build targets you really can't expect much from this terminal! Even without seeing it, you know already it's not gonna be much! 
but here we are anyway. And for start we have a new option to follow the global theme, but this is an actual switch which makes much more sense. Plus it hides the inactive options, just to make the interface a bit more clear. But it's all about this new circle that allows us to change the theme, and by design kinda feels like a live editing. Personally though I would like that to be more playful. For instance only picking a few colors like background and foreground and selections, and then auto-generate the rest based on those, or even to some image. <laughs>